welcome back students today we are going to start a new chapter gravitation when we hear the word gravitation what comes first to our mind is isaac newton and the apple yes when an apple fell on newton's head he figured out that the earth exerts a force on objects near its surface and the force exerted by the earth is called gravity the force exerted by the earth on objects is called gravity and this gravity is what brings things down towards the earth like earth all bodies in the universe attract each other with a force called gravitational force so the force between any two bodies present in the universe is called gravitational force and the revolution of moon around the earth is the result of gravitational force which acts towards the center of the earth such a force ex, uh, experienced by any body moving in a circular path that act towards the center of the earth or towards the center of the circular path is called centripetal force any force that is experienced a force that is experienced by a body which is moving in a circular path and if that force is acting towards the center of the body then such a force is called centripetal force centripetal force is the force that act on object that is moving in a circular path and that force acts towards the center of the circular path suppose if this is the earth moon is revolving around the earth moon is revolving around the earth the moon is revolving in a circular path that means there will be a force between this moon and the earth and this force will act towards the center and that such a force is called centripetal force the force that is experienced by a object moving in a circular path which is acting towards its center is called centripetal force newton originally thought that like an apple or a ball every object will fall down to the earth but uh, through the study of this centripetal force was able to explain why this has not happened now when a body a consider a body a and consider that the body a is in circular motion around body b uh, consider body a is in circular motion around body b that body b will experience a force directed away from the center okay when a body moves in a circular path that body will experience a force which is acting towards the center that is called centripetal force but the moon doesn't fall to earth why because when a body revolves around another body in a circular path there is a force that is directed away from the center and that force is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction to that of centripetal force so at the same time centripetal force is acting towards the center of the circular path at the same time there is a force which is equal to centripetal force but in opposite direction means it is acting away from the center and that force is called the gravitational force and it is due to this gravitational force the moon is able to revolve around the earth okay uh, moon 
uh, and other planets to revolve in particular orbits without falling down without falling on each other they revolve smoothly it is because of the presence of this gravitational force which is directed away from the center of the earth which is directed away from the center of the circular path so there are two forces involved first one is the centripetal force centripetal force is the force experienced by an object moving in a circular path and is directed towards the center it is directed towards the center of the circular path there is another force which is acting away from the center of the circular path and the centripetal force and this gravitational force are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction and this is the cause of the revolution of moon and planets in particular orbit rather than falling on each other for better understanding of centripetal force let us observe a game of hammer throw which is an olympic athletic event in hammer throw the swinger swings the hammer okay there will be a stone like a weight like thing which is attached to a string the swinger will swing the hammer that weight along with the string is called the hammer the thrower will swing the hammer and swing the hammer around and releases it at a particular point such that the hammer flies off in one particular direction and you can observe that when the swinger gradually swings it when the swinger swings the hammer the hammer gradually gains velocity and when he releases it the hammer flies off in a straight line which is a tangent to the circular path of revolution that is when the hammer is been swing around it is following a circular path the hammer is fall following a circular path so when the thrower is swinging it the hammer the it the hammer gains velocity gradually and is moving in a circular path once he releases it the hammer will fly away the hammer will get fly fly off in a straight line suppose if this is the direction in which the hammer flies and the hammer flies in a straight line direction and that straight line is a tangent to this circular path that is ha hammer will have a tangential direction when it flies off okay so while the athlete is swinging it the hammer is in revolution which means its velo direction of velocity changes continuously at every point since it is in uniform circular motion as we have learnt in uniform circular motion of chapter 1 when something revolves in a circular path the direction of velocity keeps on changing so here when the thrower swings the hammer the direction of velocity changes continuously at every point and this direction change will produce acceleration this change in velocity produces an acceleration which will always act towards the center this acceleration is always acting towards the center and this acceleration re results in a force called centripetal force or is also known as center seeking force okay and uh, the reason for the motion of moon around the earth is similar to this hammer throw okay is just similar to this hammer throw and the gravitational force of attraction between the earth and the moon provides this centripetal force in the absence of centripetal force the moon would follow a tangential path in the absence of centripetal force the moon would follow a tangential path similar to the hammer throw what we have just seen now in that case our moon would have flown away long year back 
if there was if there were no centripetal force the moon would have taken this tangential path and had flown away from earth long back so it is because of this centripetal force it is because of the combined effect of the centripetal force and gravitational force moon is able to revolve around earth in a circular path hope the two forces are clear so the force exerted by earth is called gravity the force experienced by any two objects in the universe is called gravitational force and this gravitational force always directed away from the center and the force that is experienced by an object that is revolving in a circular path and that act towards the center is called centripetal force the centripetal force and the gravitational force are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction one is towards the center and the other one is away from the center hope the topic is clear thank you